My goal in this video is not only to give you some great item and weapon suggestions, but also to make you rethink how you've been using them. I'm even going to revisit items with brand new information, because how I decided to present them just didn't sit right with me. As always, let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if it's useful, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out so much. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Is anyone in here? No. Uh, I do want to apologize if my voice is off. I'm really ill at the moment. But anyway, starting off slow, the crowbar. This is an underrated item with lots of uses. As a freshborn or playing a lightweight playthrough, having an item that can be used as a melee weapon, a knife, a base raiding tool, a can opener, and a way to make people bleed is priceless. Plus, if you don't want it on your back, it fits comfortably into your inventory using only six slots, compared to something like the sledgehammer, which is easily double that. Now next, I've mentioned this item before, but here it is again to help set up the next item. Plus, it didn't seem as though I was convincing enough about how important this seemingly underwhelming item actually is. It's a rangefinder. Knowing how to use this increases your battle chances significantly. It can turn someone who isn't great at shooting into somebody able to make pro shots. Even 4,000 hour players plus love the rangefinder for this very reason. If you're unfamiliar with the rangefinder, here's the simplest way to use it. Look through it. Get your range, 400 -ish. Now just line up the scope with the four and fire. Boom, statistic. It can be more than necessary for long range conflict and any ambushes. It makes a huge difference and can change your shooting game forever, especially if you wanna camp helicopter crash sites, but you didn't get that from me. But as I said, that sets up this next one, and the next one is the Pioneer, but with a suppressor. I can see this is not the most overpowered gun in DayZ. Its stopping power can hardly rival some of its alternatives. However, the suppressor renders this particular weapon almost completely silent, and its accuracy is something else. Just listen to how silent it is. Couple this with the last item and someone is about to experience hell on earth. Seriously, you can torture people with this weapon. It's so underrated. But moving from weapons to utility items. I think it's a utility item. We have the pot. Now, I will absolutely mention this again in a future video because it's extremely underrated. You can carry two bottles worth of water in it, attach a stove to it, which can keep you warm at no added slots, find them easily by fishing, cook food in it with or without water, and the best part, you can place items in it, meaning it takes no space to carry. This is just too powerful. It's very underrated. And although people are aware of it, more people need to be aware of it. Then we move on to an item which most people label a recreational item, but it's really not. The handheld transceiver. Again, what I've mentioned before. Other than hearing the occasional funny conversations, you can establish trades, gain strategic data for an ambush or a raid, trick people, and a bunch of other things. This item is incredible and an absolute game changer in the right hands. I only exclude the field transceiver because it's a lot larger to carry, but if you can deal with the added weight and the backpack space being taken up, the range is much bigger and it does the same thing. Grab two transceivers, throw one in a house, walk away, and then just start broadcasting and watch everybody flock towards the sound. A few people asked why this next one was included in a previous list I made and that question genuinely surprised me. I suppose on first glance this item can seem underwhelming, but it isn't. It's the sharpening stone. This item is so important, specifically for base building, and is somewhat overpowered when used properly. You can build an entire structure, a huge structure at that, with a single pickaxe and a hatchet with a single sharpener because they allow you to sharpen your item around 8-10 to 10 times before they ruin. This is the equivalent of having roughly seven-ish tools given they retain it a worn status every time it's used. And then we have the teddy bear. Nah, I'm joking. Next, we have a weapon again. In a world of M4s and Mosins, another hero stands up in the face of adversity and that hero is the Mark II. This gun is easily one of the best in-game guns for the following reasons. It's easy to find, it's accurate, it has a built-in suppressor, you can find them right away, ammo is plentiful, it takes a while to wear down, and it makes the early game threats ridiculously easy. I mean stupidly easy. You don't ever have to worry about a zombie again, single headshot, and they're gone. And although I'd never say it was great for PvP, any early game confrontations against freshies can be quickly dealt with by it. This gun is just too good to be starting off with. Then we have have a list of DayZ items that might surprise you and for them click here and as always until next time